Hey, first and foremost, I would like to give all the honours, the praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahav, Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, Son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence. Honours to the other apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. Jezebel. Jezebel is running the churches. Uh -uh. Jezebel is running the churches right now. Yeah. Mostly in Babylon, in America. Jezebel is running the churches. Now we know Babylon's known as the mystery of harlots, mistresses of harlots. So Babylon is a her, it's a she, it's a whore. Then what do you think the churches are going to be like? The churches are going to be ran by women. The churches in America, in the States, are ran by women. And this is a Jezebel spirit that undermines the true authority of the man. We're going to bring this out. We're going to bring this out. Okay, let's start on um, mm, Revelations. Mm. Mm. I usually don't go straight to Revelations, but we're going to do it this time. Mm. This this can be a very dangerous spirit. If it's not noticed, if it goes um, unaware, it can be very dangerous. <laughs> Revelations 2 and 18. And unto the angel with the church of Tyatera, write these things, saith the Son of God, who have his eyes like unto a flame of fire, which is the Messiah, Yahabashai, and his feet like unto fine brass. I know thy works in charity and service, and faith and patience, and thy works in the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou suffers that woman Jezebel, okay, which calleth herself a prophetess, so Jezebel, she, she professes to be a prophet and she tries to usurp authority over the true leaders. This is real. Jezebel, okay, which is a woman, which calls, call, call of herself a prophetess, okay. So she thinks she has a gift of prophecy, which she don't, right. She ministers unto the church. She brings confusion. She leads in the way of idolatry. Right? And it says. To teach and seduce. So she teaches. Right? And the scripture says. Let that woman learn in silence. That's, uh, and to seduce my servant. So her whole thing is. She has a seducing spirit. She has a seducing spirit on her. To allure you. She's known for, Jezebel's known for seduction. Getting you into sin, getting you into a situation that's not right. To seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things, sacrifice unto idols. So her whole thing is to get you into idolatry, into the occult, into the way that's not right. Right? You, you already know Jezebel. Read Kings. What was Jezebel known for? She was, what's it? Queen of Syria, right? And she had the husband Ahab. And Ahab was known for his passiveness. And because of that passiveness, what did it lead to? What did that passiveness lead to? Hmm? It led to Naboth's death. Because Ahab was complaining about Naboth and guess who got involved? Jezebel. So Jezebel was playing right upon that situation upon that victim mentality that Ahab had don't be bro we're not victims as well get out of that spirit as well the the only way this spirit can operate through you is if you let it bro we're not victims we're conquerors we're more than conquerors the Jezebel spirit operates through victimization demonization isolation right and it says check this out and I gave her a space to repent of her fornication. She repented not. So the Lord's given this church time to repent from their fornication from Jezebel. Right? 
Behold, I will cast her into bed and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. So if you're a person that has excess amount of lust, you're going to have to pray and fast over that. If you're always thinking about women, sex, you're going to have to pray because that's what the Jezebel, it deals with lust as well. Hmm? Envy, all those things, all them characteristics. Okay. And it says, and those that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, suffering, except they will repent of their deeds, repent of your deeds. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know, I am he that searcheth the reins and the heart. Okay. And it says, Baba Kesha. And I will give every one unto you according to your works. All right. So, whew, everyone's going to be given according to their work. So, you can repent of that spirit, but you got to know you, if you have that spirit. It's a spirit of undermining authority. So say if you've got a camp as well, and you have a leader that's set up amongst you. If you're undermining his authority all the time, that's a sign of a Jezebel spirit. Now, could you have a camp leader that's not right? Yeah, and you speak to him, that's something different. But if you're always undermining leadership... That's another sign of a Jezebel spirit. This spirit is very sneaky, very conniving. Okay. So now we went to that. Now let's go um, to 1 Kings right? 19. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah right, had done and before how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. So Ahab was gossiping again with Jezebel. Why are you telling this woman? And the scripture says in Micah, keep, what's it, keep um, paraphrasing, keep the door of thy lips away from her, that life in thy bosom. Don't tell her nothing. All right? When Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah saying, so let the gods do to me, and more also if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow. She said, let the gods she was an occult. She, she represented the occult. She represented Baal. So she was saying, let the God so do to me, right? If I make not thy life as the life of Rembai tomorrow about this time. So she wanted the life of Elijah. Right? It's a very, it's a very demonic spirit. Envy, jealousy, um, adultery. Lust, immo sexual immorality, um, this deceit. What else? Um, murder. What else? Um, witchcraft. This is how this spirit operates. It is very. It's a very sneaky, dangerous spirit, and that's why you have to you have to put a foot on it straight away. But don't fret. Don't fret. Don't fret because we know the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai is it supersedes. Any principality. This is a, the Jezebel. It's a spirit. So you got to do everything you can to make sure that spirit ain't, ain't lingering upon you. Everything. The Jezebel spirit. It's a spirit of idolatry and occultism. Right? And occultism is Satanism. And that's what we're coming up against. We're coming up against every warlock, every witch, every sorcerer. That's what we're doing. And we're casting down strongholds in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai. Alright? Come on, come on, you got to be bold, man, and know your authority in Yahweh Shai and cast down these spirits. Bear me just a minute. So now we're going to go into the next one, to go to 2 Kings, and when we go to 10, what happened? Right? Actually, 2 I'm not going to read it. 1 Kings, right? And 21. Nabath refuses to sell his vineyard, and what happens? He goes complaining to, um, Ahab goes complaining to Jezebel. Oh, he doesn't want to give me his vineyard. And uh, victim mentality, bro. Victim mentality. And the Jezebel spirit, it feeds upon that. Okay. Now let's go to 2 Kings. And this was the, this was the end fate of Jezebel. Check this out. 2 Kings 9 and 30. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it and she painted her face. This was the last attempt from Jezebel. So she painted her face in an attempt to 
save her life to, to allure Jehu. She painted her face huh? and tired her head and looked out of the window. Mm -hmm. And as Jehu entered into the gate, she said, Had Zimri peace, who slew his master? And he lifted up his face to the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? And there looked out to him two or three eunuchs, and he said, Throw her down. So she threw her down, and some of the, her blood was sprinkled on the, the wall and the horses and trod her underfoot. And when he was coming, he did eat and drink and said, Go, see now his cursed woman. Jezebel is a cursed woman. Flipping dangerous, man. And you got these women, you got these women on the pulpits teaching, bringing nothing but confusion. Huh? Now, was there certain, was it one or two women that were righteous within the scriptures? Yeah, but still, they bring nothing but confusion. You got women, you got women around the table. Anytime you have a group of women gathered together around the table, nothing but confusion happens or some type of witchcraft. Bringing flipping confusion, man. And your heart might show me how she's going to deal with you, lest you repent. Rigging nothing about confusion. Heaven is, you got women, they don't even know what shoes they want to put on during the day. Or oh, should I wear the blue shoes? Should I, but they didn't want to run a church. You're not fit to run the church. There's a, re there's a reason why women don't go out and prophesy. Because they're not built for it. Bringing, bringing confusion undermining the true authority, the true anointing. And that's what Jezebel was trying to do with Elijah. She was trying to undermine, this is what it does, it tries to undermine those in authority. And bury her, for she is the king's daughter. And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull. The dogs ate her up, and the feet and the palms of her hands. So that's gonna be the fate of those that are in that Jezebel spirit. And wherefore they came again and told him and said, This is the word of the Lord Jehovah which he spake unto his servant Elijah the Tishbite, saying, In the portion of Jezebel shall the dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel. Elijah prophesied what was going to happen to Jezebel. And the carcass of Jezebel shall be as dung upon the face of the field of the portion of Jezebel, so that they shall not say, This is Jezebel. Bro, that's the fate, bro. If you're in that spirit, you better get out of that spirit, right? Very, bro. It could be detrimental to your salvation, right? This spirit seeks to dominate. It seeks to dominate. It seeks to confuse. It seeks to isolate. And it seeks to intimidate and bring forth fear, right? Isolation is good. It is good, but not, not too much of it. Isolation, but not too much of it. Mm? Fair. Bro, our fear has to be rooted in Yahweh Shai Timothy's. The Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. So our fear is supposed to be rooted in Yahweh Shai. Right? Not Jezebel. Right? Not Jezebel. Okay. As long as you're abiding in your authority and you're obedient to what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai says, Jezebel can't have no power over you. Mm? But she will try to gaslight you bring confusion and all these other things as well bro it's a it's a wicked spirit it's a wicked spirit right but you you have to give that to your shy you give that to your shy right remember it seeks to dominate those that have a strong what do you call it anointing and what's it what's it what's it called a calling and like a prophesying the jezebel spirit it seeks to uh, dominate those that have a prophesying spirit that's why it was after elijah because elijah's gift that he had in the lord jehovah but look at the end of jezebel jezebel got confounded in the end just how they that worship jezebel are going to get confounded as well right and she had 400 and something prophets of baal these people they worship baal secretly they worship satan right but yahweh he has the victory man you've lost give it up give it up satan give it up all right Come on. Okay. So we went to that Baba Kasha. Bro, we sometimes we gotta be we gotta go hard, bro. We can't be timid. Remember, she loves passiveness. She loves passiveness. That's how she was able to influence Ahab. By his passiveness. 
Elijah wasn't in that spirit. Now, Elijah, was he scared? He was scared for his life. Yeah. But he won the victory. He won the battle. So just know if that type of spirit is operating in your life, it could be due to lust or because of a heavy anointing you have upon your life. And guess who Jezebel is going to use? Jezebel is going to use the occult. All right? Okay. So with this, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.